Hey y'all, uh, someone had asked for a lesson on uh, junk from uh, the first McCartney album. Neat little instrumental. There's also a version on the album, the same album, uh, where he sings the lyric for it. And you know, I never bothered to compare the two to see if they're exactly the same song, but I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, but anyway, um, it's in standard tuning and we'll get right into it. Standard tuning, and uh, for this first little intro part, we'll do that part first. And uh, the thing to know on the picking hand is, uh, again, it's uh, if you've seen the other lessons that I've done on, on McCartney acoustic stuff, he he kind of uses the same pattern all the time. So he'll he'll pick. In this case, he's picking the high E string and the D string, and then doing. One finger, you can use your index finger or your middle. But when Paul does finger picking, it's almost always that. Um, it's the same with Mull of Kintyre and Blackbird and all the other uh, Mother Nature's Son, all those. So uh, you start with this, you, you bar all the way across um, the in the second fret, the G, B, and E strings, all the way across with your index finger. Then your ring finger goes into the onto the D string at the fourth fret, so you got these three across, then that, and then this pinky goes on the high E string in the fifth fret. So yeah, it's that one, it's not a very natural finger position, but that's what you gotta do. Um, so he starts it off. See the same thing we just did? The pick the two, the D and the E at the same time. Give it a little bit of a strum in between. Then the second this, this finger is going to walk down. So uh, that one goes down one fret, and you have to fret that with your middle finger. So it's D string, third fret. This one's still barred across all three. Then the ring finger now goes on to the G string in the fourth fret. And your pinky goes on the, the high E string in the fourth fret. So you're walking down. This high one walks down. This one walks down. So those two walk down and then you cover that in the middle of them. So it's, see that? Whoops. <laughs> Have my finger on there for the next chord. That's the second one. So you can get a good look at it that way. It's all four of those strings in the second fret. The D, G, B, and E strings, all of those. And then the next one is the very same thing, except don't cover the D string. It goes from. Got that. And then uh, it does this little thing. So that's keep your fingers on that. Fourth fret on the high E string. So when you do when you release that, you could try this. But I just go ahead and release those other ones. Because if you hit the B string a little bit with your picking finger, it's part of the chord, so it doesn't really matter. So Two, four, five, seven, two. Those are the frets. And then back up to the fifth fret, just that one. These three covered. With your pinky up at the fifth fret on the E string. Down to an A. So, so far it's. And then it's this. It's a regular A. And then suspend. I'm pretty sure it's it's there are two different ones. He might do this. But I think he's doing. So I'll we'll show you that one. It's uh, an A. Uh, put on your uh, B string at the third fret, and the D string at the fourth. 
That's that, that's that A suspend thing that's in a lot of rock songs. And so on and off of that. And then the same thing except move your ring finger up to the B string, or the G string. Both of those on and off at the same time. And then it might do that the whole routine again. I'm not sure how many times it goes through. But then the other part is uh, so that's cover both of these. I guess you don't really have to cover both of those uh, G string in the second fret, and then uh, the, the high E string in the third fret. So it's almost like a D seven D seven suspended. I guess you could play it that way. On and off. A. I'm plucking the A string. You got to do that little melody on that high string. On suspend on and off. So you're walking it down. I start on the, the high E string. Now you're on the B string. So it's and then an E. Except you're you're not doing the plucking the bass E. You're plucking the A string. A, a pluck the A. Keep your finger on the A again. You're walking up on that B string now, second and third fret. Still covering that E chord. And then A. That's on the B string, second fret, then third fret, then the high E string open. Same thing again. And then it starts again. That's the whole song. It just repeats those same things again. But the actual fretting part is fairly easy um, for a sort of intermediate level. Um, and then the, the picking is just a question of, uh, on the finger picking, playing the bass string as it goes through each one. And then the, you're really doing the, the high melody on the B and E strings up there. But when you sit down and you're trying to, you got the hand positions, or the left hand positions correct, I think the finger picking, the right hand part, will come to you because when you are fingering those chords, the melody just kind of picks itself out. And he kind of ends it there and does... He does a little noodling on, on the high strings there. But I don't think there's a real end to the song. Um, but that's how you do it. And uh, really, it's, it's a question of just getting a grip on... Uh, Paul's style uh, of playing the doing two note finger picking basically he just and then strumming a chord in between notes that's, that's his MO so good luck with that one